What's up, everybody? Got another Battlefield 3 gameplay for you. This is on Operation Metro Rush. I'm on the defensive side. And in my last video, I talked about play styles and situational awareness. And sometimes when you're dealing with a uh, bad squad, how that can be frustrating and how you can best sort of uh, get used to that premise. Because sometimes we all play with, with random people and... How to sort of best adapt your play style. And in this video you're watching now, it's this is almost sort of like a continuational video or sort of a uh, almost like an afterthoughts video. But the gameplay is a little bit different and the whole theme of the entire video will be different. And I'll explain that here in a second. But continuing on with that whole idea of situational awareness, um, I'll sort of relate to you guys uh, sort of a play style that I have sort of coined and... I don't want to make it sound like I've I've created this, but it's sort of a style that I that I believe in that helps my play on offense and defense. Now, since this is defensive gameplay, you know it's defense is obviously different from offense. We know this. This is obvious, but there are ways that you can play offense and defense differently. But there are also ways that you can sort of combine your play styles into sort of one entity, and if you're confused here, I'm going to explain. So basically, how I like to play Battlefield, and one of the ways that I approach, uh, excuse me, approach Rush Mode, is sort of a style that I like to call Risk and Reward. And what this means is that, and, and I guess I can give you a discrete example of this, or a, or, a, or an evidence that most of you can probably relate to. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever played in a rush game sort of similar to this one that you're viewing now, but a game where you just notice that no one on offense is doing anything and no one on defense is doing anything. Uh, what I mean by that is, have you ever gotten a game where the team on offense doesn't want to rush up and get the MCOMs, then the teams on defense that you're with don't want to defend the MCOMs? It's, it's really a strange universe, but sometimes these rush games really play out that odd. Um... It's really a freak of nature sometimes. I mean, it is rush mode, and you would think that people want to defend the MCOMs and want to, want to attack the MCOMs, but sometimes maybe, yeah, we get in games where people care about the kill-death ratio, but I like to not think that because I'm a Battlefield player, but, you know, we don't live in a perfect world. But what I'm trying to get at here is that when I play rush, whether it's offense or defense, I implore this sort of risk versus reward uh, style. And this gameplay, as it goes along, you'll notice that I sort of take some chances here and there, moving up with the SVD here. And then as we get into the second part of this clip down in the tunnels, you'll notice I sort of try to flank a lot with the PP-19. And what I mean again by risk versus reward is that sometimes you need to take a risk in order to help either the offensive side of the game or the defensive side of the game. Uh, for example, on the offensive side of things, you definitely need to take risks uh, in parts of the game to get those MCOMs. Um, sometimes we can't really explain it, but you'll get in a game where it just seems like you're running through mortars, you're running through M320s, and somehow you're still alive and you manage to plant those MCOMs. Those are usually the best moments in Battlefield. And those risks are needed to win, but you also need to take risks on defense. Don't forget this. Now, if you see that the opposite team is sort of pinned up in a corner or on one side, need to try to find ways to flank them or try to find ways to hold a perimeter to stop them. Again, this is obvious, but there are definite ways to take risks on defense. And that also means, you know, sort of disarming those MCOMs. As, as, you, as you can see here with this SVD, I'm not necessarily camping way back in the spawn. Um, you know, I'm not saying that camping back in the spawn and sniping is not effective. It can be if you're good at it, but definitely one of the things you want to do when you're holding a sniper rifle, try to take some chances with it as well and try to push up and be aggressive. That's one thing I can relate to. So now we get into the second half of this gameplay, and as most of you know, this is one of the more favorite areas on this map here on Metro. At least for me it is. I'm sure a lot of you like it as well. Some of you may hate it. Um, I realize that too, but this map especially really shows how you can sort of have a risky play style and it can be beneficial. Now, this doesn't just go on this map alone. There are many maps that you can figure out flanking routes and that you can best take advantage of that risky sort of play style. And as you can see here, I noticed that these guys were in a group here, this squad, and they were sort of uh, coming up on the, uh, the right side on the outside there. If that makes any sense. So, uh, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rush right at them and usually... 
uh, like I told you in the last video that I had, I like to rush right at people, but sometimes you have to flank them. And uh, again, a little bit of recognition goes a long way. But as you can see here, as I'm going through the hallways, I'm sort of taking some chances and playing it risky. And, you know, you're going to die. Let's face it, guys. You're going to die and get used to it. You can't be afraid of death in this game at all. You have to be... Uh, willing to put your cards on the table and sometimes being a team player means getting a couple kills and dying right after you can't really be afraid of that so that's sort of what I've mean by risk and reward gameplay sometimes you need to take a chance on offense arm that M arm that MCOM and die and you know hey you died so what but at least you armed the MCOM and sometimes on defense you need to find a way to flank or somehow to get right in their faces and try to prevent them as best as you can and again not be afraid to die that's what I mean by risk versus reward gameplay and I think it's almost best to play Battlefield that way now of course my way isn't the best way to play there are other play styles that work wonders but I'm just sort of relating to you guys how I like to play most of these maps most of these maps I like to try the try the best to read the situation that's going on in the game and then act accordingly if it means getting killed and getting a couple getting a couple deaths on my account but stopping the team from attacking to me that's a job well done or if it's on the uh, on the attacking side and you arm the MCOM and then die after you know that is also a job well done battlefield is about who can push up the most and that's in conquest as well and the more you stay back the worse you are at you know potentially winning a game so know that you need to sort of not be afraid to push up and take a chance so that's definitely what I mean by risk versus reward gameplay and this gameplay is coming to an end uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, took some ideas out of it we're sort of running out of time here as we get to about the uh, seven minute mark here of the game so the game is uh, over I go 32 and 12 or something like that not a bad game you know you can't be afraid of those deaths I'm not happy with 12 deaths believe me but we win the game so that's all that matters so the last thing I want to say if you're new here to Yaush don't forget to go to Yaush.com and uh, check out our community or become a part of our community. We appreciate all your views, subscriptions, and uh, your part in this community, guys. We appreciate it. So until next time, I'm out for now. You guys have a good one. Take it easy.